Hello, my name is Andrea, and I'm going to present to you a case of Hayes syndrome. This syndrome is an association between aortic stenosis and gastrointestinal bleeding from intestinal angiodysplasias. It was first described in 1958 by Edward Hayes, but the physiopathological mechanism wasn't found until 1992. This case is about an 89-year-old female who presented to the emergency department after multiple episodes of syncope and exertional dyspnea. On the physical examination, her vital signs were normal, but we found elevated jugular pulse, hepatojugular reflux, tardos pulse. Also, we found bilateral basal lung crackles and a grade 4 crescendo de crescendo murmur, most prominent in the right upper external border. All these findings were consistent with aortic stenosis. The workup revealed elevated ultrasensitive troponin and nt -PNP. The hemoglobin was 9.9. .9. An echocardiography reported aortic valve stenosis with a mean gradient of 97 millimeters of mercury and an index valve area of 0.42 square centimeters. With all these findings, it was classified as severe aortic stenosis stage D1. We estimated the error score with a 7.3% mortality risk. The patient underwent a transcatheter aortic valve replacement surgery with no complications. Six hours after the surgery, she presented sudden left hemiparesis, loss of consciousness, and hypotension. A CT was performed and hemorrhage was excluded. After this acute episode, she recovered fully, but she presented hematotism. The source of this bleeding was found to be second and ascending colon angiodysplasias, which were treated with argon plasma coagulation. In 1992, it was found that Hayes syndrome was due to a form of type 2A von Willebrand syndrome, an acquired deficiency of high molecular weight von Willebrand factor multimers. The elevated shear stress from the aortic stenosis converts the globular von Willebrand multimer into an elongated asymmetric protein, unfolding the A2 domain in the process. This is where Adam TS13 binds and clips. As a result, high molecular weight multimers are reduced in size and become less hemostatically competent. The basis for the angiodysplasias are the acquired deficiency of high molecular weight von Willebrand factor multimers, which is essential for the role of platelets in maintaining vascular integrity.